Hi guys and welcome to the first ever episode of the Langley Lions Virtual Football Club season. So I thought I'd do one of these because um, obviously the time's hard at the minute with the coronavirus and uh, there's no sport at the minute and there's certainly no football at the minute and obviously that's a bit of a killer for uh, football fanatics like myself. Um, so I thought I'd do a bit of a new club on Football Manager. Um, start off in the Vanarama North League, which is like the the fifth or sixth late, uh, tier league, um, and then obviously progress up and try and get into the Champions League. That'd be amazing. So first of all, my name is Danny Lilly, and I'm going to manage uh, Langley Lions going forward. Um, and the reason why I call it Langley Lions is because uh, first of all, I'm from a place called Langley in Middleton. Um, well, I was born uh, around a place called Langley Middleton, uh, which is in the Manchester area. Um, I don't currently live there anymore, but um, I've had some really good times in, in Langley and uh, some good my all my history in football was uh, in Langley. So um, I thought I'd call it the Langley Lions and, and check the badge out. So this is a badge uh, that I created. Bit of a funky badge, uh, pretty, of a, pretty of a modern badge as well these days. Um, and also, I've also created the free kits as well for football managers, so check the free kits out. We have a home, we have an away, and we have a third kit. Um, I thought I'd be a bit quirky with the designs on the, on the away and third kit, um, and uh, it's sponsored by one of one of my old air conditioning companies, actually my brother's air conditioning company now. So um, it, it's a good little a good little thing to do, um, and it's kind of your virtual football club in a way. So I want to know uh, what you would like uh, to see in the football club. Uh, maybe tell me some new signings that you recommend. Uh, please comment below; it'd be much appreciated. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take you through the, um, I'm going to take you through the squad basically. So first of all, this is the Langley Lions squad. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take you to the club info. So the club info is as follows. Obviously, you can see the free kits. Uh, so we are in the Vanarama North, and what I've done is I've, I've taken over a club called Kern and Ashton, which are based in uh, quite close to Middleton. Really, it's in Ashton, so it's not it's kind of the next town-ish in a way. So. Um, so yeah, basically I've taken over that team, uh, I've deleted all their history, all their players as well, unfortunately, all their staff, so I'm basically starting off with a brand new club, uh, but I've basically just took over that Curzon Ashton spot, uh, so I do apologise if there's any Curzon Ashton fans out there. Um, so yeah, we're in Van Vanarama North, we're, we're the year founded of 2019 to 2020, our professional status is professional, even though I was going to put ourselves semi-professional, but thought let's start off you know okay -ish. Uh, local reputation one star we're not that big at all finances okay which i'll come to in a minute um again we've got our kits uh the the stadium is called windermere road which is like a big road in langley it's like a massive road that goes from one end to the other um also as well uh the capacity of the stadium is three thousand with one thousand five hundred of seating uh, it's grass it's in good condition in the stadium and i'll go through a bit more details quickly with you Obviously, you can, you can see our badge there. Uh, we're in the UK and Ireland, of course. Our nickname is the Lions. Um, and yes, currently we have a couple of rivals which are quite close to Middleton, actually. Uh, Salford City, which are based in Presswich, which is the next one to, uh, next uh, town to Middleton. Uh, and FC United, which is in Moston, which is, again, the next town to Middleton. So, uh, so yeah, our club is based in Middleton in Manchester, or in Greater Manchester. Um, and that's it really. Finances, I'm going to come to now. So our average ticket price is £10. Um, our average season ticket price is £200. And uh, we've sold 150 season tickets, which is great. <laughs> uh, the owner status, which is obviously myself, I'm going to manage it as well. Yeah, we'll love, I love the club, of course. Uh, and that's it really. Uh, finances, I thought I would set us off. Uh, we're in the Van Rama North, so it's obviously it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough to even get out of it, to be fair. But... Um, I've set ourselves off with £500,000 as a transfer budget or just over uh, but the wage budget is probably going to help us out a little bit more because we can do just over £3,500 a week now a lot of my play a lot of these players at the minute a lot of your new players sorry uh, with your new virtual club um, are on around about five six hundred pounds a week at the minute so that gives us a lot more leeway into getting new contracts on board and hopefully getting a couple more players in as, as well I'm going to quickly go to the players uh, so the squad is, I've done a regen regen team there called. So basically, what you do with um, what you do with the editor in the background is you can add what players you want in. So I've actually had two players in. 
Uh, that's all I've added into this squad. I've added, uh, and they're actually both my granddads who, who have sadly passed away now, but um, uh, Sammy McCarthy, which is a central defender, because he was kind of the stern granddad in a way, and uh, Tommy Lilly, which is a striker, because he was kind of the creative granddad in a way. So, um, and I'll go through their stats very quickly with you. But the rest of the players are regenerate, regen players. So it's basically what football manager put into the t put into your club to obviously give you a good st give you a start. Now, what they do is they uh, they look at the, the the league that you're in and they put the player stats kind of resembling that league. So as you can see, uh, our goalkeeper is called Andre Shim. Uh, Shapev, I'll have to get that right if I'm going through a season with him, but he's a 26 year old Bulgarian and you can see from a goalkeeping standpoint his aerial reaction is good, his commanding of the air is good, um, handling 10 halfway good of course, uh, reflexes are really good and rushing out is good as well so he's a bit of a bit of a, a lower end Manuel Neuer or a, um, you know whoever really <laughs> uh, but yeah that's uh, that's that's uh, Andre Shapev anyway and then Going down, Owen McKenna, uh, defender right, and as you can see now, the stats are a, a lot poorer really, uh, and they, they kind of resemble the uh, the Van Rama North League. So um, you can see there basically that you know you can see that crossing and everything there is pretty good on the mental side maybe, but that's about it. Um, Sammy McArthur. Now this is one that I made, but I didn't over exaggerate him. I didn't make him into like a I don't know a Van Dyke or someone like that. Um, so heading seventeen, probably a bit over the top actually, but I put heading seventeen, tackling eleven. But then apart from that, then you got aggression sixteen. So I have to keep an eye on that, of course. Determination seventeen, leadership fifteen. But then the rest then are all below ten, and some are even below five. So there's still a lot of potential there for him to to build. Um, again, Daniel Clark, just going through him. Uh, Thomas Gallagher Allison, what a name that is. But anyway, yeah, cool. He's pretty good. He's got good potential. Another uh, one that I did see that had good potential is that this Michael Obeza. Again, 16 years old, uh, but you can see that his acceleration is 13, his pace is 11, his natural fitness is 12. You can see him becoming a, a very good player uh, further down the line. And obviously, he's got good potential from the coaches. So, yeah. And then Tommy Lilly. Again, pretty over exaggerated here, but these are the only two players that have kind of put into help the club go forward. Um, but yeah, basically you've got uh, Tommy Lilly finishing fourteen. I would say that level is like, um, sorry, that level is kind of, um, I'd say something like a League One, League One player, maybe even pushing into the Championship. Uh, but yeah, massive potential. So we've got to make sure we keep all the clubs off him because they'll probably come in, coming in for him quite early. Um, so that's that, and then the rest then are kind of just. Um, I'll just quickly go through some attributes. Um, so the mental, as you can see, is not a lot of yellows on there. Certainly not a lot of greens on there. It's more whites and uh, off greys, which are off grey off greys are obviously shocking, really. Um, so that's the mental side. The technical technical side, again, not too much. Um, quickly go on to the goalkeeper side. Obviously, goalkeeping is just the goalkeepers. Defensive side. Um, yeah, not not the best again to be honest. But you can a lot more yellows in there though, so I think we are going to be more of a defensive side. But I will try and uh, make us into a more attacking side, um, and that's it really. That's where we are at the minute. Now, if I go to the um, to the club info again, sorry, and go into the general um, again, we're in Van Vanarama League North, and the media are predicting that we're going to finish twenty second. This is why I'm pretty excited about this because this is really going to show how. I won't say goody on, but how, how, how I adapt to football manager and how I can make things happen in it. Um, so, yeah, the media predicting 22nd and there's only 22 in the league. So, uh, it's going to be pretty fun, this one. So, uh, but yeah, that, let's see how we go on that one uh, and we'll go from there. Again, I've talked about the finances um, and quickly I'm going to go on the schedule. So, the schedule, um, we have four... Uh, pre-season friendlies uh, and I'm going to do them I'm going to do two of these in the next episode so our first pre-season friendly is going to be against Anan uh, which is a Scottish club away so that's going to be pretty tough but then we're home to all under 23s that's going to be a good game and we might have a good chance on that one then we're against Port Vale at home and Rochdale under 23s at home as well so I think that we could win maybe two maybe even three out of them hopefully uh, the Port Vale one could be a bit of a, a tough one maybe the Hanan away one so listen we'll see how it goes on that one we'll, we'll see how we go but listen please comment below of all your wonder kids that I could potentially sign you know I've got a £500,000 budget there 
um, which is massive in the Van Rama League. So anyone that's around like the 50, 50k mark, 100k mark, that's a wonder kid, please let me know um, in the comments below. But yeah, guys, welcome to Langley Lions. It's a bit of a weird name, um, but it's just a bit of fun. Uh, that's what it's all about, a bit of fun. Take you through the season. Um, just to quickly have a look at the season as well in the Van Rama League. I think it is the yeah, it is the, the top the first one the top one goes through and then it goes into like a, a well it's like a six playoff then. I think it I don't know how it I think it might be a a, a bracket system uh, on a two legger if I remember rightly, but we'll see. So yeah, that's uh that's where we're at really, uh, with the Van Rama League North. Um some good teams in there. Altrincham uh, will be a, a tough ask a, a tough team, sorry. Um yeah, this is Chester. Chester uh, are managed by the two ex uh, Salford managers, aren't they? Chester, uh, if I remember right. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, Bernard Morley. Yeah, Bernard Morley and um, what's it called? I can't remember now. Anthony Anthony Johnson, is it? I think. So anyway, yeah, that's a uh, that's where we're at at the minute. So the Van Ramen League now. Some good good teams in there. But listen, guys, please comment below. It'd be much appreciated. Uh, let me know your wonder kids. Let me know that who I can put up front with Tommy Lilly. Uh, let me know who I can put at the back with Sammy McCarthy. Um, I think I'll be all right with the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper seems okay. But yeah, guys, remember we're also on Twitter as well. There's a little link here uh, at Langley Lions FC. So please uh, comment. Um, let me know. And guys, episode two will be coming this Sunday where we play our two first preseason games. So guys, thank you very much. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.